All right, hey, what's going on, my friends? This is your boy, Turgon, and coming at you with a new video this evening to just talk about some stuff revolving around season four. Uh, season four is winding down. Uh, there may still be, uh, from what I'm told, three weeks left, but in terms of what's going on with the mission in game, it's pretty much done. There's nothing left for us to do. Um, we're just waiting for Frodo and Sam to get there and for everything to kind of wrap itself up. In terms of the uh, ration, six days left until the ring is destroyed, uh, unless he gets there before that time. Not sure if we can affect that or not. We have those towers up all over the beaten path that Frodo's traveling, and it doesn't really seem to be doing a damn thing. Uh, and then in terms of the next mission, we already have our our five caps, so um, that's done. And we even almost took good bed today. It's a good, it was a good time. We got it down to 4%, and uh, now it's at... 21%, uh, and it'll keep growing, because we're essentially backing off at this point. There's still some stragglers there and stuff, but um, our war buff expired, so we can't really do much siege damage to it with the 70% siege penalty debuff, uh, and we don't get war back for a long, long time, needless to say. Um, so, that's kind of the current situation. Evil um, is defending Gundabad somewhat, a little, maybe. Uh, they've also been fighting Rave up for Fordwith. And they just came over here and took Emin Ewil. And are doing stuff up here. They're really really relocating in this area and investing in this area, so um, it won't be long until they take this over, and they're heading up north, uh, undoubtedly to Forest Shell, and we will meet them there. I will be relocating shortly, um, either within the next few hours or in the morning, whatever Depends on how late I stay up. And um, let's talk about commanders a little bit this season. So for me, uh, my top commander has undoubtedly been Gandalf the Grey. <clears throat> uh, both in terms of PvE and PvE, he has been soloing 200 tiles for quite a while. And uh, he's also completely a nightmare versus just about anyone other than Sauron and Ar Armored Sauron. And I think there have been some... He's done pretty good against Lurts. I think there might be some Caldoons he's had some issues with. But pretty much anyone, any other evil commander, he's been stopping. Wraith, uh, Witch King is nothing. My Gandalf crushes Witch King. Um, which is fun. And I, you can see the way that I have built. Uh, it's all about the range damage, baby. We got range, 9% range damage from his weapon, 9% range damage from the accessory. So that's 18% buff to his range damage automatically. In addition to what you get na naturally just from, from might. So uh, another 10.4% on top, so that's like 30% damage buff, all things told, for archers. Uh, I also have him practically stun immune in the first two rounds, which is just to make him counter ri ri uh, Witch King a little bit more. Uh, and then this is just all just stats. So that's my Gandalf, and the way that I like to... Um, I have him mocking at the moment, because he's only level 47. Uh, this mock session isn't going to result in a level up next one will. So just trying to get this one out of the way so that then I can regenerate stamina and uh, action points or whatever the points of the AP is 
is called Ability Points. There we go. I found it in my memory banks. Um, well, by the time I wake up in the morning, it'll be mostly replenished, and I can send them again after uh, I relocate. But this is how I like to so stack them right now in terms of um, his, his unit composition. 3,000 sharpshooters, no more, no less. It's the perfect amount, um, in my opinion, because it gives you just insane range damage the first two rounds of the battle, and that's when all of Gandalf's shit goes off, right? He stuns enemy units from rounds one and two, and the three, I believe, and there's some other stuff that goes on that he has as part of his kit in rounds one and two, so um, take advantage of that with the sharpshooters, but then the thing is, if you don't kill them during the first two rounds, then the sharpshooters' damage falls way off, so um, having 1,350 March Wardens picks up for that so like if you if your engagement goes a full 10 rounds you're going to get 100 to 150 thousand damage from those sharpshooters total but they drop off into the first two rounds probably 100 thousand of that damage is going to be in the first two rounds 90 thousand of that damage will be in the first two rounds and then after that it tapers way way off so then the march wardens come online so you're getting about 100, 100 to 150 thousand damage from both your sharpshooters and your march wardens it's insane damage it's great damage uh, and then 750 cataphracts is, is enough to tank plenty. Um, it usually takes three or four uh, dark side armies to bring bring him down unless uh, he runs into a counter of some kind. Um, or another whale player. Um, really, really well-geared players. Uh, can kind of take a good bite out of him. Anyway, uh, let's move on to the next, my next boy, which is Aragorn here. Uh, I think everyone's already familiar with what I do with him. I just run him with knights, and he does insane commander damage. And uh, with his R5, the units are immune to stuns, uh, so that's nice. And uh, he's just built for, purely for might and to reduce uh, burn damage. 30% burn damage from the chest, 60% burn damage from... Uh, the helmet, so the knights are 90% burn resistant, uh, which is nice. And then uh, poison and focus, another 60% on top. Uh, damage reduction for there. Um, but he is susceptible, of course, to physical damage and such. Um, so, like, Lurts hurts him pretty bad. Khaldun, because uh, usually they've been running Khaldun's with, um, like, anti-cav, and obviously knights are cav. So um, I do get smashed up quite a bit with him. Uh, later in the season, but early in the season, you know, getting knights online came pretty fast, so uh, I was able to bully people quite a bit with Aragorn, which is pretty fun. Uh, okay, so now I have Gilgalad, which I didn't have him in my previous video. Uh, I worked him up to R5 during the course of the season, and I transferred most of my gear from Celeborn over to him. The knife, the chest, and the accessory, the harp. Uh, his helmet came from Gimli. I decommissioned Gimli, and uh, I hadn't decommissioned Celeborn, but I haven't been using him. I've been using him kind of as my sixth, and Haldir as his seventh. Um, I'll show Cel what I've got going on on Celeborn in a little bit. Uh, but for Gilgalad, I mean, he's just a, a wrecking house. I mean, even at level 41, I'm taking on uh, 45, 46, 47, level 50 comms, and, and not losing, like drawing. Uh, it, it, or winning if it's a lower com if it's anything basically from you know 40 below 45 i'm doing really well he does just so much damage i mean i got more elf damage here and then six percent from the might of elves and then plus five to the base stats from the the, the knife um and then defense and then ranged attack here, and then the, the old Aegis, which I need like five more of <laughs> easily um, to uh, keep leveling this this up. 50% though is, is decent, I take it. And then the plus two to ranged is nice. And then the harp gives him more defense. So lots of defense and attack. Uh, another f So 4% damage from the harp, plus 6%, plus 10%. To elves plus the base stat plus five there and the plus two to ranged here so plus seven for ranged so um the way that i run gilgalad is he home he's home right now i'm gonna go home I'll show you my gilly 
Uh, I'd like to put 2,100 heralds up front. Um, they are ridiculous. He has a hundred. I have 103 defense with them. Their HP is buffed. The damage is buffed. They do ridiculous damage for me. Like most fights, unless they get stunned. Um, we're taken out really fast, which is hard because they have a lot of defense and they're, they're good. I usually um, some battles I've seen them get like 90 to 100 thousand uh, damage with heralds, which is pretty cool. Uh, but you know, typically somewhere between 40 and, and, and 80. Uh, and then I, I put a, bone, a thousand bonites in the back uh, in case we run into, you know, those troll things because they can be popular or any other large unit for that matter. Um, you know, the war chariots, the, the T4 for the, um, the rune guys, that can be a pain. Um, yeah, the double T4s in season four can be rough um, when you run into somebody that's running war chariots along with fallen and then they'll throw something else in there like alchemists or reapers or dragoons or uh, whatever that anti-cap unit is I can't remember off the top of my head what it's called but um, it can be pretty rough it can be pretty rough um, so having some bonites in there I think is good Let's do some damage to larger units and, and then 1500 march wardens is, is fine um there, there's their damage with all those buffs they're at 66 to 67 as a base uh, really high defense and HP for, for the March Warden so um, if you can eat through all my heralds and all my cav my, my cavalry, my, my bow archers um, then you're left with the to deal with these guys so that's part of the reason why um, it's really really tough um, to beat my Gilgalad out, outright usually he'll draw and even if there's only a handful of March Wardens left it's always the March Wardens that are the last to go. So that's Gilly. Those are those commanders. And then I got Treebeard. And Treebeard. Um, you know, I did this. And this is part of the reason I decided to, when I got Treebeard, I was going to use him. It's because this hammer is pretty good. Um, the whole army ignores 3% target's defense physical damage it's really it's really good it's really really good and then i have this massive breastplate to go along with that so it buffs up the defense of the large units in my force which are ends uh, significantly uh, and then i just threw gandalf sat on there because it's hard to find gear for ends <laughs> and uh i like the focus build on him the damage reduction from that is pretty good um, and the courage on this this hat I like also um, because Treebeard himself does insano damage um, not insano I should say Aragorn does insano damage Legolas does insano damage but he does really good damage like essentially um, from what I've tested he like if your march wardens are doing um if you've got like let's say 1300 to 1500 march wardens in your army they're going to do about 60 or 70 thousand damage and treebeard will do like 40 to 50 himself uh and then the ents themselves will do 30 to 40 so it's a really really well balanced attack because your tanks are doing damage they're soaking enormous amount of damage i mean i usually only put 60 to 80 ents in an army at a given time just to put a meat shield up front which is ironic because they're made of wood, wood shield up front, uh, and then like, like I said, like 1300 to 1500 March Wardens in the back. I don't know if I would use Treebeard if I wasn't playing Loth. Um, I think I would. I think I could. You could probably replace the March Wardens with um, not sharpshooters because <laughs> you just don't do anything the first two rounds. That would be so silly if somebody put. Put sharpshooters on on uh, on Treebeard. Although I suppose they could just not put any points in this yeah. talent. Um, that's how you could get around that. But this talent is really good, so I use it. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe Sentinels will work. 
think Sentinels will work all right. It won't be as much damage. It won't be anywhere near as much damage. You might actually just want to go pure Ents and just 100% Ents with Treebeard because the March Wardens are really the way to go if you're going to put something in the back with him. Um, I guess you could try War Rams to get the 50% uh, negative 50% defense bleed debuff that they apply. That's a way you could go with him. Um, but I, I like Tree Beard. He's, I'm running him essentially as a, as a fifth right now. Uh, Eowyn is my fourth. She's a beast. I got a new spear for her that gives my mounted units plus 2% damage. Um, unfortunately, I had to break my previous spear in order to level this one. So, no gold stars yet, but we'll get there. Uh, focus, percent, uh, focus damage received, negative 60%. I don't know if that's actually doing anything for her or not, but she has it. I might swap it over uh, next season and put that on Aragorn and then put that uh, Superior Hallberg on Eowyn. Uh, and then I got Madness Immunity from her helmet. Since her units are stun immune already, um, I thought that would be a, a decent counter to Wraith King, or to Witch King. I keep saying Wraith King because I used to play Dota a lot, so I'm sorry about that. I'm sure I say that wrong several times whenever I record stuff. But anyway, um, and then the, the shield, which is, which is pretty good. So she's got pretty jacked up, uh, pretty jacked up defense and such. 69 defense on Cav is pretty good. Almost 70. Uh, 151 speed. It's pretty good. Uh, and then, you know, Cataphracts with 96 defense is, is dumb. They're pretty tough. They do pretty decent damage, surprisingly, as well for her. So, those are my my top five comps that I'm running now. And then, like I said, I'll run Caliborn as sixth. And I just got him this guy. So, it has no levels or anything really in it. But, um, I like it stacked with the pipe. He does pretty decent healing. Uh, and then, I'm working on getting him the focus damage. Negative 30% at this point, which isn't bad. The old trapper sword, I left that on him. I was thinking about giving that to, to Treebeard, but um, for now, I'm going to leave it this way. It helps make him viable still. And I like having him as a six that has a Sauron counter, since he is both stun and madness immune. And he makes the army totally stun and madness immune, so he is a great counter for for Sauron, and he gets really good synergy with the March Wardens. If I wasn't playing Lothlorien, I probably would bench him at this point, but since I'm playing Lothlorien and I have the March Wardens, it's kind of silly not to use him. The only reason why I'm not losing using him at the current given moment is because of the state of my barracks, which is mostly barren. Come to think of it, I need to make stuff. <laughs> I need to make some stuff happen here should be eh, close there we go I mean my my racks got thrashed we've been hanging out here by freaking Gundabad for forever and um, between the bots and all the dark side players it's been like an endless stream of fighting ever since I got here my my um, my prestige was under a million when I got here and now I'm at 1.5 million so and, the, and I've been here for no more than a week less than a week I'm pretty sure pretty sure uh, I will be moving at some point soon though like I said oh, what we got here some stuff going on today it's the weekend um, this is a long video but I just wanted to kind of give everyone an update on you know how our season's going what I'm doing with my account how I'm playing how I'm pushing stuff how I'm gearing stuff 
Um, I know it was a lot of information, so I just wanted to kind of put it out there while I had the, both the time and energy to do so because I've been going to sleep mega early where I've been sucked into this game and not wanting to record stuff. And just where we are in the game today and uh, taking a nap early this evening helped uh, facilitate this video. Um, so I wish everyone who is watching well. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments. And, uh, you know, take care of yourselves and stay well.